What is going on, all of you crazy writers out there in the Ionverse? Today, we are going to do uh, something a little different. Um, now, we did one of these before, which was sort of, um, uh, it's going to be a box opening uh, from the Game Crafter. So we're going to actually take a look at uh, the Ionverse um, and check it out and see what we've got. So... Uh, we have the box here from the Ion Ver or from the Game Crafter. We're gonna give that a look, uh, and then we're gonna go through each product as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, see what we get here. First thing, always the uh, packing paper. Boom, took care of that. All right. So the first thing on top here, after the packing paper that we have, is a couple of dials. So I got these dials to help track clout and um, health. Uh, so these are going to be available uh, to everybody. Um, yeah, so you can track your stats as you play the game. Uh, I ended up getting two sets just so two people can play. Uh, the next thing in this box that we have is something that you may have seen before. Now it's a little, uh, it's a little beat up. The um, post office took it all the way up to New York for whatever reason and sent it back down here. So uh, I don't know why, but uh, the next thing that we have is the Democosm two-player starter. Uh, we're going to open that up and check out um, the contents. Uh, and then the last thing in this box, the coup de gras, the big time of the big time. It's a little messed up because of the shipping, unfortunately. Uh, that's, that's very bad. Uh, but it is the Ionverse uh, booster box. Now we're going to open this up, open up um, probably three packs uh, just to, to test test it out, see what the uh, packs and the cards look like. Uh, but yeah, uh, give me one second and we'll be right back uh, to start opening these up. All right, so we're back. Uh, so as I had said before, we're going to go ahead and do these dials first just to check these out since they were on the top of the box there. Uh, so these dials are two-sided, um, so on the back uh, we have just the um, Ionverse uh, logo. Uh, on the front of each of these is going to be one for health, one for clout. That's just to um, track for your team leader and for the clout um, as we play the game. Now there are ways to get uh, more than 10 clout, but you always start at 10. Uh, so we're going to head on up here to 10, boom, 10 clout. So we start at 10. Uh, and as you spend your clout, we'll just kick that number down. All right. That works great. That looks great. Um, yeah, highly, uh, highly impressed by this, uh, this little dial here. Uh, health, let's look here. Uh, looks going to be about the same. Uh, all right. That looks pretty good. So, yeah, uh, these are going to be available um, with all of the other Ionverse um, products, and so I look forward to uh, seeing what you guys think of these. Uh, this one is keyed to red um, just for health. This one is keyed to the orangish color uh, that's associated with the clout. Uh, so yeah, I uh, look forward to seeing what you guys think of these. Um, yeah. All right, so the next thing that we're going to look at here is the Ionverse two-player starter pack. Um, so, as I said, the unfortunately, the box is pretty beat up because of the shipping. Um, I, the, the outer exterior box that it was shipped in was just beat all, all to hell. Um, so, unfortunately, this, uh, this took a hit. Now, on this one, um, I did put um, the kind of glossy uh, texture to the box. That looks great. Um, I am... I'm very pleased with the way that that turned out. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up, see how the cards turned out in here. All right, so we got that new Ionverse uh, logo on the back there. That's great. Uh, and yeah, so the cards turned out great. We have the, um, yeah, this is this is looking great. The uh, uh, icon for rarity is on the bottom right. These are showing up uh, for all these. That's that's great. Uh, so yeah, you can see uh, this is a common. Uh, so if you look here, that uh, little circle, that's a common. Um, let's let's find out if we've got another in here. 
so the little diamond is an uncommon. I don't know if uh, we have any just uh, pure rares in here, uh, just because these are kind of to teach people how to play. Uh, each one of these does come with um, the uh, sorting for the decks. So, you know, the, we've got Professor Furnace and Understudy uh, just for the players to know uh, what goes in what deck. Uh, these green-backed cards um, are the... Uh, um, these green-backed cards are the um, location cards. Um, so these are going to uh, be the locations that you're going to use uh, in your... Um, location decks. Um, now these I haven't updated yet, so I am going to have to update these with uh, uh, the rarities, uh, taking those off, as well as updating the um, logo for these. Let's look here, see if I've got any rares or anything. Uh, now this does come with uh, some rubble, which is a token, as you can see. Uh, tokens you don't include in the decks, so these uh, are just going to be utilized while you play the game. Uh, these decks do come with um, paths for each character. So um, unlike the, the demo packs that are intended to teach the game, these actually come with official paths. Yeah, so there. Th this is a rare. Uh, so I don't know if you can see it, but this has a uh, kind of a hex shape to it. Uh, the hex shape is the rare and uh, super rare is going to be a star. So you've got the circle, the um, diamond, the uh, hex and the star. So yeah, these are, these are looking pretty good here. Um, it also comes with uh, this boon. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, move on to uh, the Ionverse booster box. So give me one second. I'll get that uh, all ready for you guys. All right, so um, we are now going to go ahead and open the booster box for the Ionverse here. Um, now, unfortunately, um, the post office was not careful with this, uh, and it got beat up pretty bad. Um, I don't even know if it's going to be able to stay together. Um, okay, so... Uh, on the front here, uh, you've got Ionverse comic card game. Uh, on the, the top, um, same thing, just with some character art and stuff like that. Uh, on the sides, more character and team leader art. So we've got um, the Daimyo and Clover Kid. And on the other side, we've got um, Commander Canada and Maple Leaf, as well as um, Obsidian Jaguar. Uh, on the back is just the logo again, and on the bottom uh, is nothing, so just uh, blankness. So uh, normally what you would do with the box toppers is um, you kind of take it and you fold it up like this, and this goes right here. Uh, all right, so let's pull that up, that way you can see it. So yeah, uh, the box topper just kind of goes like that, and then it would sit, um, you know, in a space... Um, like kind of like this. All right, so uh, this should have, let's see, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20. So uh, the uh, booster boxes hold 20. Uh, so that's what this one has here. So we're going to go ahead and pull out, uh, let's, let's uh, Let's take some of these out and randomize them here. Just because the booster boxes come with the super rares. Um, now, the, that's currently the only way to get the super rare cards is uh, to get a booster box. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and mix these up to try to, um, you know, change our chances of getting um, one of those... Uh, Super rares. All right, mixing them up, mixing them up, mixing them up. And we'll take a look at these uh, booster packs uh, in a moment after I get them all shuffled up and everything. All 
All right, now, uh, because it's Game, game Crafter, um, I did go ahead and go with the 18 card booster pack because that is what can fit in each pack. Uh, so if you look at the front here, the art on here looks great. The um, logo, um, you know, the comic card game, uh, the art, everything looks uh, looks great. So I am happy with the um, I am happy with the outcome uh, of the exterior of the booster packs. Uh, these are going to be available on the Game Crafter for sale. Um, I think they're five or six dollars each, uh, just for a booster pack. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and just grab uh, three of these. Let's see. We'll do. We'll do these. We'll open these three packs, and we'll go over what comes in each booster pack in a moment. Let's go ahead and move these uh, back to the box. And I will get the I will get the box readjusted in a moment. These will go here. All right. So let's go with the booster packs. Booster one is going to be this bad boy right here. So we're gonna I'm gonna open it and I'm, I'm gonna go over everything that comes in the boosters. Um, just so you guys can kind of uh, get a feel for what's going to be in each one. And these are going to be completely randomized. Um, so. And eat now they they they're all mixed up here, um, but I'm gonna go over everything that's in them. So um, you are gonna get a token. Um, each token comes with kind of a, just a, um, an explanation to teach kind of um, the different things like traits or boons. So the traits are gonna be on the back of this card, um, and then this the token that came in this pack is a rubble. So uh, one of the effects in the game can create rubble. Uh, so that's gonna be the token for the pack. And so now we'll just go down here. So we've got uh, Mother, which is uh, a rare. So Mother is going to be the rare in this pack. So we'll put the rare here. Um, you're going to get um, various location cards. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set the location cards up here. So um, the first one we got here is a city pool. It's a one uh, influence value location, so that'll go here. Uh, the next location card we got is Victor Slab Memorial Statue. It is a four cost or four influence location, and it has the Slab City tag. So that's going to go up here. Next thing that we got here is Keel Hall. He is going to be a common, so we'll put that here. Uh, we've got Mika Boshi. He is an uncommon. We'll put that there. Oni Mask is going to be a common, so that'll go on the common stack. Commander Canada, uh, who is a common, so we're going to put him on the common stack. Three-piece suit, that's going to be an uncommon. We're going to put that here with the uncommon cards. Ooh, so uh, each pack, you're going to get a team leader card. So in this pack, the team leader that we got is Miss Montreal. So she's going to go over here in, on her own pile. We're going to stick that right there. Uh, the next location card that we got is a two-influence um basketball court so we're going to set that right there um all right so then we got a smoke bomb this is a common card so we're going to put that here oh yes so in this pack we got kind of a good mix so not only did we get uh victor slab memorial statue um which is a location that miss montreal loves who is a member of project canada um we also got the rink so uh, just on this pack alone, because I mean, we we got even got Commander Canada. So if we were drafting here, um, we would have a good start for a Commander Canada build, or for a Project Canada build. Um, the path that we got, however, is a villains only path. So the path that we got for this, uh, for draft purposes, um, wouldn't really work. Um, but it is a just villains basic path. Uh, and we'll set that right over here, uh, because that is another one of in every pack. So you're going to get one path in every pack, one team leader in every pack. Uh, the next thing that we got is an energy disruptor. Uh, it is an uncommon. So we're going to set that right here. We got a trench coat, which is a common. So we're going to put that up here. We got a prison, which is a three influence value card. Um, and that being said, let's talk about locations. So you're going to get uh, two one to two influence 
value locations, two, three to four influence values locations, and a team base. So you're always going to get um, one of various team bases. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it's laid out. Uh, we'll see in the upcoming packs here. Uh, the last thing that we got here is uh, a common card that's going to go here. So you're going to get uh, four, let's see, four, five, six commons, three uncommons, a rare, a team leader, a path card, um, a team base, um, and four location cards. Uh, you're also going to get a token in each of the packs. All right, so the next thing, uh, we'll go ahead and open this next pack. All right, let's do it. I'm super stoked for these. These are these look great. And I know, unfortunately, the box is kind of beat up. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe if you guys uh, have any advice on uh, how to fix that, you can post that in the comments. All right, let's get this bad boy going here. All right. So I'm just going to kind of uh, separate these similar to the way that I did the last ones. The next one we've got is Jade Dragon. He is an uncommon. We're going to place that here. Uh, we got Eris, who is uh, my rare. So the rare is going here. City Pool. We got another City Pool. So we are good building up that City Pool. Ooh, VFS International Airport. Uh, so that's going to go up here. Tater Tot. Tater Tot is a common. Night Vision Goggles. They are common. The Masher. He is an uncommon. Redcoat is the team leader for this pack. We're going to place that right here. Pawn Shop. As uh, the one influence. Uh, Mizu. Mizu is a common. So she's going to go over here. Ooh, the Press. Now the Press is a generic. So uh, it, generics typically are going to have the uh, common um, rarity. However, I think one or two is uh, higher than that. All right, team base we got, which goes great with red coat, is the monolith. All right, so uh, easily um, could make Project Canada or um, or uh, the ICS uh, because here we have the power of the press. So now if I was drafting, now I have uh, available to me a hero's uh, path. So it is a generic hero's path, so um, any hero can use it. So either way, I could actually uh, start going with um, a hero or a villain set. All right, the next one we've got is Arc Flash. He is an uncommon. He's going to go here. Oh, then we got Fading Memories. They are common. They're going to go here. Obsidian Jaguar, he is a common, so he's going to go here. Ooh, yes, the uh, we got the... Uh, a new life token, which is special. It is for Populous. He is the only one that uses this. Uh, that's going to go up here with my tokens. And the last thing we got is another uh, Victor Slab Memorial statue. All right. Our last pack that we're going to open for this video. All right. Wish us luck, guys. Let's see if we got that super rare in this pack. And I am, I am loving the look of these, the feel of these. Um, Game Crafter does a great job with, um, you know, the card quality. Uh, they, they always do it, have always done a great job. All right, so let's get started here. Decibel is an uncommon. So it's looking like I'm getting more heroes in these uh, three packs here. Uh, so I would definitely be going for a uh, hero build in a draft. Uh, so here we've got... Um, a, the rare, which is, what is this again? Understudy approved. Boom. So we did not get the, pull the super rare. That's okay. Uh, next thing we've got is a dark alley. That's going to go up here. And fading memories again. That'll go here. Velasquez. He is uh, a common. That'll go here. Ooh, here we go. Light bloom park. So that's going to go up here in the four slot. Uh, three piece suit. That is an uncommon. That's going to go here. The Daimyo. So uh, we definitely got our um, three different team leaders here. That's uh, that's great. So the Daimyo is going to go over here on the team leaders. The Apartment. So we uh, have not seen uh, the team leader uh, or many cards from um, the Urban Parasites. Or sorry, the uh, the Urbanites. Um, 
which you can see their icon here. Uh, but we did get the Clover Kid. So the apartment goes over here in the team base spot. Clover Kid is a common. He's going to go on the common stack. Then we've got Riot Gears. Some more commons. Ooh, a basketball court. All right. Another basketball court. Ooh. All right. So we've got the Chosen. Uh, so we didn't get any um, team-specific paths, but we did get uh, three generic paths, which is great for drafting. So that's going to go down here with the paths. Oh, Borealis. He is an uncommon. He's going to go here. Oni Mask. It is a common. It's going gonna, to gonna go down there. Thick Coat. That is a common. More Rubble for our token. And the, the Skyscraper. Uh, another three. All right. So that is... Um, the um, three packs that we're going to open. Uh, I want to thank you guys for checking out the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe uh, for um, you know any uh, upcoming content for the Ionverse. Uh, I'm really grateful that you guys uh, have decided to stick around, and I look forward to uh, seeing those comments and hearing what you think of the um, different uh, products. So thanks, guys.